Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how I made tails out of a princess palace pet. I'm going to be using the head of this cat with the body of this skunk. The heads are relatively easy to get off, but it's a real pain to get them back on. In this video I'm going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog with my little sibling, in between where I tell you what I'm doing in this video. It's easier to remove the plastic details when they're separate, so I'm going to carefully remove what I don't need with a razor blade. I love Tails. I think he's very cute. I think he is particularly cute in the adventure games. He's like, I want to protect him in these games. But he's also it, like turning into his own in these games. And that's like really... I put the head and body together off camera and now I'm removing the factory paint with 100% acetone. Yeah, he does it like a lot better in adventure. Like in adventure too, it seems like either He forgot way, all he, of his like process. The cat head has some sculpted hair that I don't want for tails. So I'm going to fill it in with some air dry clay. Use water and tools to get it to look how you want. Yeah, well, I was going to say it, it's either part through like part way through the adventure line or just he regressed a little bit which is fine he does hold his own in adventure too but at, at least at the end of hero mode i want to try to make his tails rotate and bend so i'll sculpt them off of the body i use a wire as the base and i'll loop it on a safety pin so that i can stab that into the body so that it can rotate i'm bulking the tails up with newspaper and i do that for both tails for the record, I don't actually use these tails, but I'll show you how I made them anyway in case you want to make something similar. I don't like how they characterize him in two, but I like his voice actor more in two. Yeah. But I think in Adventure, like when you're playing as Sonic and you see Tails there, it's like, oh, my little buddy is right here with me. He's right here. I got nothing to worry about. I like that they're friends. And I like that when you're racing Sonic in this game as Tails, Sonic is like, oh, right, Tails. Like he's proud of him even. Yeah, he's he is. I'm using Art Mind's foam clay and I'm flattening it out to roll around the newspaper. I smooth it down with water. It's like cute. Like that's so cute. I'm a sucker for sibling relationships. You really are. I listen. I got a good sibling. <laughs> and I also love in this game when Tails is like, the ship changed shape. That one's great. That one's a fantastic scene. Listen. It has so much, there is so much character in that scene. I hate it when he doesn't listen. Stop saying stupid bullshit, Tails. <laughs> Did I see it? No, no, I didn't see it. What happened? I, I missed it. Sorry, my eyes were closed. I think his design is like... Classic Tails is adorable. Almost... Yeah, like almost the perfect extension of what Sonic and Eggman were, you know? Yeah. I think all of them originally super cute. Yeah. They're like beyond like even acceptable how cute some of them are. Like, yeah. I started painting the base in yellow, but I'm worrying that the differences in color are going to make this useless. So I opt to do my initial coat in white so that there's a more even coverage in the yellow. I love Tails. I think he's so cute, but I don't like his character a lot. I think they kind of get his character wrong. I think they always put him as like this, I'm Sonic's little buddy. And it's like, there's there can be nuance. That's why I like adventure a lot too. Cause yeah. it's like, he's like his own person in this yeah. game. I don't need the white color to be solid before going in with yellow. For some reason, I decided to mask off where the white markings are after I painted him yellow. Especially after that first plane thing, he really comes into his own. I think it's like a pretty much perfect conclusion to his story arc anyway yeah because it starts out where he's you know rescued by Sonic and then by halfway his story he's doing things on his own and like confident enough to you know put his money where his mouth is basically exactly we were listening to Sonic Colors like the main theme yeah and how you were like this would be a good theme for Tails the newspaper bulb makes the tails too dense so I'm cutting them open after they're dried for a day and removing as much as I can. I think the Sonic Colors theme really sounds like Tails. Like the singing sounds like a sonic -y song, but the, the lyrics really kind of sound more like Tails, at least in the adventure line. Yeah. You know? I think right. they do Tails kind of dirty sometimes. I think they do him so dirty all the time. And I think there's a lot of people that like him, but they don't really know why they like him. And then there are like, I think a lot of people like him in the same way that like a lot of people like, like a character like Luigi and that he's just like player two. 
You just like him yeah. to be a contrarian and to just say, oh, I like... I cut them up more than I thought I needed to, so I need to patch them up. I actually fill them with pipe cleaners to help with the bending and to keep the tails from collapsing when I bend them. I need to hold it closed while the clay that I'm patching it with dries. I'm using the same clay that I made them with. I yeah, like there, this there are like a few reasons that people like tails and there are like so many more for people to not like tails and they're like all the same reason. <laughs> That's the same reason. It dried out bumpy and I wasn't able to sand it, so I'm going to flatten out a sheet of in the shape of the outside of the tail and smooth that over them. The video was hurting my eyes, so I had to filter it out. Wait, you know, you can copy and paste it however many times. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think he's really cool. I like that he's like into robotics and things. Uh-huh. I like in Sonic Boom, in the cartoon, Eggman and Tails kind of have like a cool relationship. The fur details I sculpted earlier with the foam clay turned out like garbage, so I'm replacing them with fur details that I sculpted in paper clay to like. This clay doesn't bend, but it's such a small area that it should be okay. Where they're like equally matched. They're like child is equally matched to this grown man. Now that they're good enough for me, I'll mask over the area that I don't want to paint yellow before I paint in the base coat. With a 300 IQ. He's super smart. He's not, and that's another thing, is like the greatest scientific mind in the world. He, Tails is like super duper smart but he is not at all clever. For his final color, I decided on a golden yellow color. I'll paint over him until the color is opaque. And I think like, that's a part of it. I think that's a part of the characterization people forget. He's not clever. He is- He still, tries to be. He's gullible because he is a child yeah. still. I think that's part of the like, failure of them towards Tails. I think so, yeah. And, like, if he was even like, a year older, you know, in canon, being nine instead of eight. That would, you know, allow them for him to be a little bit more independent, you know? That's something that they should really do for Tails, because even in something like Unleashed, like, he was being cornered by the Dark Gaia, and it's like, why? Yeah. Like, he had his plane there. <laughs> Sir, this is, this child has a driver's license. I don't know. But he's, he's gullible for sure. I think it's like one of those things where it's like in writing, it's like either play into it or don't have it. He's fully golden, so I can remove the mask and paint the white markings. Yeah. The, when you're making a character, every single aspect of the character is important. And if it's not important, then don't add it. And I'm not talking about like, oh, your ethnicity, it has to make sense. Your Especially disability that. has to make sense. No, you insano. I'm talking about an aspect about them. Like Tails can be a child, but if you're not gonna let him, I don't know, act like a kid, what's the point of having these characters be that age? I'll paint his slayers with matte white. Like, they could be any age, and that's the majority of why people see them the way that they see them. It's like, people don't think of Sonic as being 15 even though he is. I'm cleaning him up because I couldn't mix a good shading color. Yeah. They think of Sonic just like existing, kind of like how Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny does. You don't really yeah. consider age in these aspects, in my opinion. I have many thoughts about the Sonic movie. Um, I don't even want to get into it. I don't it. even want to get into it because I'm going to get angry. I'm going to like start seeing red. Here's my thoughts on the Sonic movie. No. Painting in his shoes with red and I can sketch out where his irises will go. It wasn't good a year ago or whenever it came out. Oh my god, it's been like two years. Yeah. It wasn't good then. It's not good now. And it never will be good. And it won't be good. It's like a sh This video shows better the way that I paint in the gradients of the eyes that I use the most customs. I did this with the whole trio, actually, for Dimension, but this one was filmed pretty okay. It's a, it's a shoddy melody in my head. <laughs> it's, it's a bad, like, it's, it's like, like a dog, it's a talking dog movie. I paint a gradient on the highlight as well, but it's more subtle. It's like if Sonic X was bad. And Sonic X is it very really bad. It really is. It's it's. I, I like thought that like before. I'm like, this is just Sonic. They should have made if they made it more like Sonic X, then I would have completely been like, all right, whatever. I but they still did hated it. it. But at least then people would be like, oh, oh, okay. Either way, I hate like. Going back to Sonic X though, I think a big part of why I did not like Sonic X is because like Chris Thorndike, his parents are like super rich and wealthy and he has like no flaw- like he's like- his one flaw is that he's like a fucking idiot. 
<laughs> That's it. He's got a friend. He's got like a black friend who is like just there. He's okay. Like all of his friends don't seem like they're in as good standing. Exactly. As he is. They seem like just regular kids. And then like you gotta deal with this freaking Elon Musk ass kid. Who's like, oh my god, guys, it's so hard. I have these cool ass aliens that live in my house. And I would just be like, if I was if I was Chris Thorndike's friend, quote unquote, I would one go ballistic on him. I would not be his friend. I would get in trouble. I would like beat this kid up because Ugh, I've had to deal with kids like that in the past. <laughs> I Oh, don't even get me started. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> it's unrelated. But I'm going to paint in his Chaos Emerald, which is going to be purple because that's the one that he used to power his plane at the beginning of Sonic Adventure. It, there's like a girl in a wheelchair. Yeah. Who clearly is not doing great. Yeah, she's she is literally not because she's all well, like, I wish I spent more time with my dad, but he's always working because I'm in a freaking wheelchair. Yes. <laughs> that's like literally her story in Sonic's all like, I'll take you to that island with the flowers that you want to go to. Like that is. The only, like, Sonic, it makes more sense that he would be her friend. I need to finish the ring that I painted on his chest because I couldn't think of anything better for the toy's necklace. And I didn't cut that off before I started painting this. And I painted his little nose. I'm gonna paint the toy's necklace in blue to represent the Blue Spheres minigames from the Genesis games. I had a hard time deciding on all of their necklaces, but I didn't take them off before I started painting them. Sonic in Sonic X is straight. I've always thought this. I think that's why I just never watched it. Cause I'm like, why is he in this kid's life? Yeah. When I was like a kid and this was airing on four kids, um, is like, He's just straight up mooching off of him. They all are! I'm going in with some gold paint over the gold details, and it looks much better. And they're like pretending that they're friends and stuff. Sonic doesn't even freaking like Chris! He That's like the best part is of it, constantly actually. avoiding Chris him! Is <laughs> Chris is literally obsessed with Sonic to the point where he like... I painted the paw pads on the toys to match Tails Chaos Emerald, and finish him up with watered down dirt clear matte. Tries to prevent them going to back to their own planet. Mm -hmm. He's insane. I glued the tails to the wires and to the pin to be one solid object before attaching it to Tails' body, which was a lot harder than it should have been, and sucks because they were definitely too big for him, even though I did that intentionally. These tails were just a total mess, honestly. He's like actually insane. He's the villain of that story. We think of Eggman as being the villain. He also wants to get home. I'm going to replace them with a pair that I sculpted out of Sculpey Ultralight Oven Bake Clay. They won't be able to bend because of how dense they are, but I don't want to wait days for another air dry bend one. This clay bakes in the oven, so they're ready to paint in less than an hour after you finish sculpting and cooling. Sculpey Ultralight needs similarly to air dry clay if you condition it too much. It can make it hard to put over armatures if you do this, but letting it get back to room temperature before you continue sculpting lets it get firmer and easier to use again. I was frustrated with the tails at this point, so I didn't bother with the fur detail. If you can't handle your ultralight sculpture without smushing it before you bake it, you can totally bake it and add the details later and bake it again without any issue. I'm glad that that Eggman got a chance to be him in the game, so. Yeah, I like, I like, I think he does a good job at portraying him. It's not my favorite, that's not my Eggman, but I think he did a good job. I think he did pretty good. But I hate Chris Thorndike because he's just like, oh, life is so hard for me. Yeah, Chris, well, last night we didn't get to eat dinner. How did you die? I went ahead and painted them and detached them off camera so I could do it smoothly, and this is how he turned out. I think he's really cute. The polybird clay tails came out a lot better than the other ones. I wanted to add shading and I tried to outline the eyes, but neither of those look good. Overall, I think he's alright. He's okay. I don't even like Tails that much. He's cute enough, but I don't like him. Like, I like Sonic or Knuckles. Yeah.